Hey everybody, it's Holly. I wanted to take some time to go through bits and pieces of the magazine template and just show you a few tips and tricks that I use um, from time to time. Now because this magazine layout is um, it's it's about an eight and a half by eleven. There is a bleed, so you know if you're going to publish this to a PDF file, flatten and crop your pages at these guides so you know that it's not going to show. It, or actually, everything's going to look a little more in place like it's supposed to. This is if you're going to have it printed. Now, I clipped this image into um, a clipping mask that actually fills the entire page. And sometimes the images I get from people don't fit it or I don't want her face to be right in the middle of a fold. So what I do is I kind of place it where I think I'd like her to be. And what I do then is come in here and with my selection tool, I went over here and use my, my rectangular marquee tool. I come over here and select just before where the image starts. And I come down and I'm like, okay, I don't want to get her hand. I'll come right before her hand. And something that you can do is now come up under Edit, Transform, Scale. And you can start scaling it. Now, if it gets too stretchy with something like this, like you're seeing here, it can look kind of wonky and weird. So, um, what I would do is just stretch it a little bit so that you can get a little bit more use out of that. You know, maybe just slightly to there. I mean, you can kind of see where it starts looking strange. Um, and already I've kind of added to that. Um, the next thing I would do is just kind of come in and um, copy and paste it and bring it over and just kind of look at it and see what I think and then I might um, just scale that slightly till it fits. Now in your newer photoshops and that sort of thing you know you can um, you can um, I just drew a blank you can do the cloning and that sort of thing. I don't use that. Um, I just, for me, it doesn't work as well. So, um, what I do then is just kind of merge my la my layers I'm working with, and then I'll come in here with my clone tool. Because with something like this, it's really easy to just come in and start kind of blending everything so it looks like it it belongs together. Um, I might even bring some flower over here. And I'll do that just to get it just where I, I want it to be. With the newer versions of Photoshop, you know, you can actually do some cloning. And if you're lucky, it works. If you're not, it doesn't. Um, but anyways, this is just something I do. I just select right by the line I want to clone and, and do tiny little bits to that. And I just kind of blend it in. And the good thing is about this particular layout is there's going to be text over here, so you're not going to have to worry too much. And if you wanted to really kind of um, change it up a little bit more, you could duplicate your layer and do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Just kind of increase it a bit. And then what I like to do is now take my, um, my circle selection tool, the elliptical tool, change my feather to about oh, 120 and then come in here on where I want it to be and just do a quick delete and then it kind of feathers it and she's in focus but this isn't. So that's just another little tip that you can do to get your images across the whole page and make them look really cool.